Hi, this is Joey with our weekly Q&A. China draft new antitrust rules aiming at internet giants such as Alibaba's e-commerce platform and Meituan's online food delivery. This week, our senior analyst Dennis Chin will share his thoughts on these new rules. Dennis, what does the Chinese regulator intend to achieve with the new rules? The 21 pages of new antitrust rule are introducing regulations for the internet economy. The goal is to prevent and stop platform service providers from overusing their monopoly power. In the past few years, there were quite a few hints that internet platforms are not generating value for the public or create unfair competitions. For example, as a frequent traveler, you could be charged unfairly a higher price than a new user for the same flight ticket because of the big data analysis. Or an online platform who dominates a lot of data traffic is able to invest in a startup at a huge discount. Or an online platform has forced merchants to sign an exclusive agreement which prevent them from marketing their products or services on other e-commerce platforms. While this was good for the platforms, the public has suffered. Hence, Chinese regulators are trying to achieve fair competitions and sustainable development. For them, free markets are a means to create competition and to improve the quality of living. Will such new rules kill the tech companies in general? And to what extent does the Chinese government intervene? I do think many tech companies will get hurt, but they won't get killed. Obviously, the new rules will lower the profitability of many internet platforms, but nobody will be benefited if all these internet platforms were to disappear. Under the new antitrust rules, the Chinese regulator introduced a concept called substitution cost. It is the basis for the regulator to judge if a monopoly exists. My interpretation would be, for example, a restaurant should make similar profits no matter they sell the food online or offline. So the fee that's paid to a food delivery platform should be similar to the rental of the land plus the transportation cost. And if the food delivery platform charge abnormally high fees, the regulator may step in. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned with us. Thank you and see you again soon.